mistakes. Is that what you're thinking, Michael? You skip your court here and leave the damn jurisdiction knowing the second your car you're going to be tossed in jail. Where the hell you go? Paris, Texas. Because? Marcy. She was there. You saw her. No. But the last lead my brother gave me put Pump Marcy in Paris, Texas. Come on. Michael, Marcy's been spotted in at least three separate um, states. That you were there, us. Rex. I was. I know in my gut I was close to finding her. Twenty-four dollars in breakage, Mo? I'm docking your pay, and if you break any more of my dishes today, you're fired. Oh, Mo, it's not I like you've never had a case of the dropsies around here, Mo. Tell it, Gigi. Mm -hmm. Guess who's all thumbs when a certain customer from Hollywood comes to town visiting in-law? That's not a I thing. swear, if Miss Fang comes back one more time, this place will go belly up from all the damaged inventory. So don't feel bad. Just don't try to carry too many plates at one time, okay? Never mind. You. What? I need you to work an extra shift today in case this one doesn't work out. Oh, no, you don't. The judge is coming to taste our pies today, and there is no way you're getting between me and my perfect pie crust. Your pie crust is not my problem, Noel. And your lack of management skills isn't mine, Mo. But we both have to deal, don't we? I'm trying to run a restaurant here. Thanks for saving my job. I need all the hours I can get before your friend Vicky comes home and wants a job back again. much time getting these made up now did we uncle Joe? i had every right to get these made up and if you're here to get on my case again you know what I, we're not here to get in your face that's not it at all then what you guys here welcome me with open arms Greg, man. the point is you got the dna test i know what i did and those things don't lie okay so no matter what we thought before oh, um nash and i are here to officially welcome you to the family hmm. a really great vacation, like a cruise. What do you think? Perfect. Done. Sold. Now we have to figure out is where she'd like to go. The Caribbean. I stopped in the diner on my way here. Mm. I love you. Mm -hmm. um, Carlotta also mentioned making sure that Talia is coming to Christmas dinner. No, no, no. I don't think she'll be able to come. That's too bad. She also said something about Sarah. Sarah's probably going to spend time with her family. What is with you guys? Nada. What do you mean? It's almost Christmas. Get happy. And if you're not happy, then just do what I'm doing and fake it. You know in your gut. What, are you a PR now? I'm Archie's husband. More than that, I am her soulmate. It's like we knew each other before we ever met. I know what she's thinking. I know what she's feeling. And I know when she's near me. Okay, psychic connections aside, what did running down to Texas accomplish other than getting you arrested? I wanted to see her and Tommy again. I wanted to help her. And being in a jail cell is helping her now. Okay, I know. I screwed up. I haven't exactly been thinking straight since the moment I found out that Todd was actually Tommy's father. I should have told her the truth. 
I keep thinking about last Christmas. You know, before I knew about Tommy, and how happy we were, and how full of hope for the future. I can't stand the thought of Marcy out there, scared, broke, and having to hide with Tommy on Christmas. I wish there was something I could do. There is. Name it. I can't help Marcy from in here. But you can. <laughs> you plan on serving that breakfast for dinner? I know. Someone needs to give that man a chew for it. Well, it's not going to be my blue ribbon, I'll tell you that. Want to bet? Why gamble when I've got a sure thing? <sighs> Lord, please let the judge come soon so I don't have to listen to any more bake-off drama. <laughs> That's a really big deal, huh? Oh, it's only the ND 500 at baking. Noelle's been runner-up for the past two years in a row, so close to that prize money. And then Mo decides to horn in on the action, and they've been at it ever since. Who do you think's going to win? Who else? Mo's the one who made Noelle feel proud of her baking, and now he's trying to outdo her. Anyway, just... Keep your head down and don't let either one of them trick you into saying who's the better baker, okay? Got it. <laughs> Thanks for the 411. <laughs> so, is, uh, is Mo that mean all the time? Oh, no, don't let him scare you. He's just a big pussy cat. Actually, I kind of like the way everybody relates around here, you know? It's like a, like a big family. I know that you're missing yours. And hearing those cops drag off your poor husband the other night, a week before Christmas... It's the worst. I'm sorry. Hey, Mom. Hi, Sally Ann. Hey, Shane. Hi. They finally let you out for Christmas break, huh? Not before making us do a stupid Christmas pageant. <laughs> Someone didn't like being one of Santa's helpers? I'm starving. What's good today? <sighs> I'm hoping your report card. Come on. Cop it up. Okay. Just don't get mad. Don't get mad? Hand it over. Oh, no. Mm. Particularly dislikes reading. Tutor recommended? I can't afford that. This is great. Excuse me? Well, I have been looking for a way to repay you for everything that you've done for me, right? And I found it. Queen no sugar? Thank you. You remembered. Not a whole lot of forget. So I guess we should talk about this, huh? About what? Hmm. That's right, you don't like to talk about things, especially on the personal. So here. Let's see it. You sure you don't want any coffee? I made it myself. I'll go first. So guess what I did last night? Well, I had a really bad day, and I got myself really, really drunk, and then I ended up sleeping with my ex. What a coincidence. What are you doing here? I'm visiting you. Now, you should go. Um, no. No, I, I, I don't think so. Not... Wait, wait. Do you think we could just sit and talk for a minute? Let me get this here. Charlie, last time we spoke on the phone, you sounded so hopeful. You said you were going to meet your son. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. He hates me. My son hates me. So, you, you met him. Oh, yeah. I met him. I saw him. And then he sent me packing. But that was right after he told me he never wanted me to bother him again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, but that's not the best part. You know, she got a whole... 
New life. I saw it with my own eyes. He's got new business, new connections with rich and snooty people. But you know, that, that doesn't mean he, that you can't be part of his life. <laughs> he said it in ten different ways, and it was all just the same thing. He thinks I'm nothing more than a drunk. And he feels like he's given me too many chances already. Welcome to the family. We would like to invite you to a little holiday shindig at the cottage. Uh, it's a little neck and cold, little eggnog, little red wine, little quality time with Brie. Bring a present. After all, you are her great uncle. It's not going to be a big thing. Just you, me, Nash, and Brie. Hmm. Thank you. But I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Oh, come on. What's the matter? Y'all booked up? Come on. I haven't been in town very long. You don't know that many people, so what's wrong with an old night with family? Okay, you know what? You two have hated me since I rode into town, and I'm not saying that I blame you, but I sure as hell don't buy this 180. So tell me, what's going on here, huh? Hmm? Why don't we try a little give and take, you know, conversate? Let's do it. Okay. Because I really got to wrap my head around this, about what happened. So, yeah, what did happen? We were there. And you were there, and I was there, and then you, and me too. And, well, we didn't plan anything, right? We were at that place, and then we ended up... Here, and that's what happened. Yeah, I wasn't that drunk. I remember everything that happened last night. Me too. So why did it happen? I was drinking by myself, expected it to stay that way. So... Here's a good one. It seems as though I've been making out with this guy who turned out to be my uncle. I mean, the other round. Seemed like a good idea at the time. What are you upset? I had a big fight with Dorian. What does she do now? She tricked me into thinking that she's really okay with Rex and then... You know what? It's not worth getting into. Okay, okay. But let me say one thing. You and Antonio are so lucky to have Carlotta. She supports you, and she minds her own damn business. Well, she's, uh, she's not Dorian. Who is? Well, she definitely makes her thoughts known. Like the dinner invites for Talia and Sarah? Listen, Adriana, you actually have a relationship for Dorian to interfere with. Why doesn't she just give up? Nothing she's going to say about Rex, his income, his lifestyle, his ability to commit, nothing she's going to say is going to change my mind. So you know what? No matter what she says, Rex and I are going to have the best Christmas ever. I want to hire you as a PI. Why? You found out about Tommy before anybody else did. Yeah, and look how well that turned out. No, I made the decision to lie, not you. Come on, if anybody can find Tommy and Marcy before the FBI and Todd's goons, you can. Michael, I, I don't tell me you haven't thought about it. Not a day goes by where I don't think of a way to make this right for you. You don't owe me anything. But you can help. You're a great P.I. Rex. You can get into places that the cops can't. You know how to talk to people. You know how to get them to trust you. You said Marcy was last seen in Paris, Texas, right? Yeah. And it looks like I'm headed for Paris, Texas. They're only accepting one entry per town, so it's either my pie or Moe's. Don't worry about hurting our feelings. Go ahead. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Can't one of you pretend to be from Sulphur Springs or Texarkana? Hear that? 
I am from Paris, Texas, born and raised. You're the Johnny come lately. You move. I can be you now or be you later. Either way, it doesn't matter. He can. Makes them easier to eat. It brings out the flavor. Which one's better? The truth. You bet. I didn't like either of them. Sorry, I just don't like pie. I like cake. Ooh, little less talky, more worky, huh? You're a little young to be looking for a job, don't you think? I'm looking for a movie to see. Oh, well. What kind of movies do you like? All the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Cut it out, me too. Like, you're totally awesome. You must have uh, liked that book, The Pirate of Grover's Gulch. I never read it. Is it good? Are you kidding? It's only the best pirate story, like, in the world. There's this kid, right? He's actually, he's like about your age, and he goes into his backyard and he discovers this big treasure chest. But when he opens it, what? What did he find? No. No, I, I, I you know, I, I don't want to tell him. No, you, no, I don't want to spoil it for you, but you have to read it. If you want to know what happens, you have to read it. Okay. Yeah. Sally Ann, back to work. I forgot. You're a writer and a teacher. Oh, that my former life. <laughs> well, you could do it again. I, I need a license to teach, so, and, and publishing, I don't want to draw any attention to myself, so. <laughs> You've given up so much. Yeah, but not the most important thing in the world, right? My son. You know, I think it's worth the sacrifice. All day long, honey. All day long. Last I heard, she was flat broke and scared that somebody was going to turn her in if she didn't pay them off. How did you hear that? I just, uh, I don't know, Jim John must have told me. Michael, I need to know all of it if I'm going to help you find more stuff. She called me again. After Thanksgiving? The day before I took off. She didn't sound good, Rex. She sounded desperate, alone. And you know what I told her? I told her she was on her own, that she was endangering Tommy and that I wouldn't help her. You were just trying to get her to come home. I was angry and I shot my mouth off without thinking. I woke up the next morning with the worst hangover and I got a tip from a guy who'd seen one of the flyers and I knew what I had to do. Did you get anywhere? I met a woman named Sally Ann. She lives in a motel across the street from a little cafe. I think she knows something. Good. I'm going to figure out how to play this and book the next flight to Paris, Texas. I can't tell you how much this means to me. It's nothing. With Christmas around the corner? Are you kidding? It's huge. Oh. Oh, I totally spaced. I'm sorry, Michael. I can't do it. So, we had a few more drinks. Poured my heart out to you. You've um, been through hell. Want to talk about it? No. But I'll listen to you. Sure. I'm sure. Okay, here it goes. So, you know, I. This guy and I, we. We were pretty into each other, wanted to see where it was gonna go. Went over to ask him out for breakfast. And Nigel rips open this letter that reveals that Jared is my grandpa's long lost son. My uncle. Disgusting. Oh, it gets better. So, um, then tonight, he kissed me again, knowing we're related. Yeah. I know that this is 
is nothing compared to what happened to Marty. It's not nothing. Look, if you're going through what you're going through, uh, it can't be, it can't be easy. I can't talk about it. I just can't. It's cool, I understand. You know, we've been in the trenches together many a time, and, uh, care about you, so just want you to know if you need to talk to me, you can talk to me about anything. Hey guys, it's uh, past closing. Can I get you a couple of caps? Uh, yeah, yeah just, you know what, one's fine. Thanks. Okay. okay. Here. I just wanted to make sure that you could walk okay. Irish blood, babe. We can always walk. Ignore <laughs> that. Thank you for um, listening to me because I just don't think that I was ready to go home yet. We were two people in a funny place, alone, not needing to be. So we found each other again. But it won't happen again. Because we're exes. No regrets, sir? None. worth. I don't think that you shot Miles. I don't really know what happened, but I have a feeling it has something to do with protecting Cole. For what it's worth, I'm sorry you're hurting about what happened with this fella. My luck, huh? You know, something better's gonna come along. You deserve that. You, you deserve to be happy. I just thought I was gonna be happy with Jared. Hey, I won't lie to you. We still don't like you, and we still would really like it if you disappeared. But since you're not going to disappear, wow, what a way to welcome a guy to a family. Hey, you asked for it straight, and we gave it to you, you know? The truth is, the situation stinks, but it is what it is, so we're trying to make This is a ring okay. endorsement for that letter, party, party. Letter, 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 cash. Your DNA says that you're a part of the family. And as you've probably already noticed, our family's pretty tight, and I adored my grandfather. And I worshipped him. You think I don't know that I'm not worthy of his DNA? My grandfather wanted to welcome you into the fold of the family, and that trumps everything. So we are here to try to give you an opportunity to prove yourself worthy of being a part of this family. Look, I'm no longer interested in getting back at you, and I'm sure as hell not interested in proving anything to you. Uh, he, of course, reminded me of how I'd broken his heart when he was a kid. How I'd always show up. Three sheets to the wind when I did show up. And you know how many times I I borrowed his allowance, all the promises, 
I made that I just couldn't keep. And that's, you know, that's, that's what I wasn't being just downright mean. But you knew all that, Charlie. You knew you would hurt him. Does he know that you fought tooth and nail to stop drinking? That you've turned your life around? You're a new man? Yeah. And all he saw was the old man. Don't you think you should try again? <laughs> he said he never wants to see me again. Okay? Ever! Yeah. And I'd ruin his new life that he fought tooth and nail for. Well, then, that's the status quo for now. But does it mean that you have to throw away the progress you've made for the last ten months? Oh. Well, what does it mean? Hmm? Hmm. Charlie, you have a sponsor, don't you? Can't you call him, go to a meeting, and get back on track? For what? Come on, it's not going to change how my little boy feels about me. But you can't stop drinking for somebody else. You have to stop drinking for yourself. Oh. And I, I know that y you can move past this if you put your mind to it. You don't know anything. Vicky D, and I'll tell you something, you don't know anything about me. No, no you're quite right, I don't. Hmm. <laughs> but I would like to. And for the record, I'm not afraid of you. It was all for him. He's my son. I know you. He's the only one I was quitting before. I know. You're quick to become a better father. But don't you see that in the process you became a better man? Yeah. And who cares about that? I do. So, what about you and Talia? I'm not ready to move on. Not ready or not willing? And this thing with you and Sarah, we were talking about it and... You and Sarah? We've become friendly since she moved in with Layla. Yeah. She likes you. A lot. I knew there was something. Mm -hmm. Almost. Meaning? Meaning, Chris made his version of a move and Sarah called him out on his feelings for Evangeline. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. She told you all that? She said enough to let me know that you're on the fence. Well, I mean, that's not really fair. I mean, it's not like Chris can sit down with Evangelina. Walk things out. I tried. I went to see her at the place she was in. I thought that if I uh, could spend some time with her, um, I don't know, I could make sense of things. What happened? She was gone. Gone? Yeah, their mother took her back to their place in Maryland. And Layla didn't even know about it till, till it was done. Can she do that? Oh, she's her legal guardian. Now I'm worried about what kind of care she's getting. And if I'll ever see her. I'm sorry, Christian. Yeah, thanks. Well, look at it this way. At least we don't have to worry about getting Christmas presents for our girlfriends. But if things do change in a week, I know where you could score some killer lingerie. Hint. Hint. Thanks. I don't know what I'm going to get Rex for Christmas. I mean, he hasn't said anything, but I know he's getting something really special for me. I can't be away on Christmas Day. I was going to ask Adriana to marry me. I was going to give her the ring on Christmas, even though I have no idea how I'm going to afford it. Congratulations, man. Really. I wish I could celebrate with you. We're going to get you out of here, Michael. You're not going to spend Christmas in here. Remember when I proposed to Marcy? You did it up all the way. Yeah. With your help. Uh, I just supplied the venue. The rest was all you. Don't make the same mistakes I did, man. Don't ever kid yourself that telling lies will protect her. No, it's your only... Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it. 
I'll find Marcy for you. I'm starting know. today. No, don't, 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 don't say I, it. If you I, can't. I, I can't stand to see you like this. Every second we waste, the further away Marcy gets. I'll take the case. What about Adriana? If the man up the stairs has a heart, I'll find Marcy and Tommy and still be home in time to propose on Christmas Day. Can I have one more thing to my Christmas list, Mom? I told you, we can only get two video games this year. I can't afford anything else. The Pirates of Grover's Gulch isn't a video game, Mom. It's a book. A book, huh? Yeah. I'll see what we can do. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, if you want, I can give you a whole list of books he'll love. I definitely want. My pleasure. By the way, you're doing much better here today. Because <laughs> I'm really exhausted. <laughs> we'll take a longer break. The place is pretty empty, and Mo and Noel are trying to outmake each other, so... <laughs> Yeah, I can't have feelings for my uncle. It's disgusting. It is. And illegal in almost every state. But look, you just found out, so cut yourself some slack, all right? Yeah. You're right. I can do this. Got it for you, right? You're damn well better off, aren't you? Well, it's easier with you. You know, I quit the LPD and didn't have to see you every day with Jared. I see him all the time. We both are sitting on the board at BE. So you're really involved over there. Yeah. Actually, Grandpa gave everyone in the family a seat on the board. And nothing else. <laughs> so, yep, get to see Uncle Jared every day. I'm sorry, John. I, I don't that's insensitive of me talking about seeing... And you're not going to get to see me, Marty, again. I'm sorry. Is there something I could do for you? Actually, sure there is. Here's what you can do. You can call me if the situation with this this guy gets too uncomfortable. You'll take care of him for me. Whatever it takes, I'll be there for you. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? There's nothing anyone can do for me. I need you last night. I'm glad you were there. Always. I'm sorry I disappointed you. You did nothing to me. I don't even matter in this equation. Yes, I... I care about you. And of course I want you to be well, but this decision, Charlie, it has to be yours and yours alone. So, what'll it be, huh? It took a lot for you guys to come down here, and I appreciate that. So, yes, I will attend the holiday soiree, but... By the way, I hate eggnog. Nope. Oh. Excuse me. Probably his letter had stationery. I think he bought our act. I'm sure he did. And now it is time for stage two. What do you guys want for Christmas? Oh, presents are for Mommy and Jamie. I don't want anything. Yeah, me either. Everybody wants something for Christmas, even if it's not things. Remember hopes, wishes, dreams, stuff like that? Yeah, well, some wishes are too big for Santa Claus. Well, Christmas is a time for miracle, and it's only a week away. A lot can happen in a week. I'll be thinking of you on Christmas. And missing you and loving you always. Forever, Marcy. I could never repay you for this. 
You don't have to. Marshy's a friend. Tommy's my godson. No matter what Todd Manning said. Hey, Rex. When you get to Paris, there is a place that you definitely ought to check out. Oh my gosh! Oh, big fancy car just pulled up. Guess this is it. Here comes the judge. The little place I mentioned, the little cafe, I talked to the owner and one of the waitresses. They're the ones who sent me across the street to meet Sally Ann. They might know something more about Marcy. The place is called the Bonjour Cafe. The Bonjour Cafe. Got it. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Do you really want to get away from me that bad? You can bargain with the bottle, Charlie. You can't bargain with me. Are you trying to ditch me to avoid Christmas with my mother? I can bring home your boy, but you're going to have to help. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on Sony.